He gave you manna to eat in the wilderness, something your ancestors had never known, to humble and to test you so that in the end it might go well with you. Think about that. So in the end, it might go well with you. Now let me jump back to where we started that. So many of us are chomping at the bit to do. His own disciples were, let us sit you right and left, Jesus. Like, let that be our place. We're chomping at the bit. He says, you're going to have to go through some fire first. You have no idea what lays ahead, but you're going to have to pass through it and pass through it well. I'm going to have to humble you to make you ready. I want you to be great, son, but to do it, you've got to go low. And that's the key to this. You want to rise with God? I ain't talking about the worldly stuff that people lie to you and say, if you just work harder, if you just grind more, if you just get more education, if you just make more money, you're going to have it all. I ain't talking about none of that. Keep that stuff. I'm talking about the real thing. You want that life that God has for you, why you were purposed why you have breath in your lungs and your feet hit the floor this morning. You want to find that life? You want to walk in the fullness of that and grow with the God that created you? My man, if you want to rise with God, then you have got to go low. He has got to humble you because it's a heart stance. But don't get it twisted. When he takes you low, he don't leave you low. He just wants to know that you will love him with all of your heart, with all of your soul, with all of your mind, with all of your strength. He wants to know that you will submit to him. He wants to know that he is your first and foremost because if he doesn't, if he cannot bring you to that place, what he warns these Israelites with is what could happen to us. Otherwise, if I did not test you, if I did not humble you, otherwise you may say to yourself, my power and strength and the strength of my hands has produced wealth for me, has given me this land flowing with milk and honey. God who? You know what I'm talking about? And so many of us want to get so quick on the rise that if it should happen to us, we forget all about God. And how many times has God warned his children, when you do come into the promise, when that greatness that I have planned for you does come into your life, don't forget about me. When you're living in cities that you didn't build well, and drinking out of wells you didn't dig, eating the fruit of vineyards you didn't plant. Don't you forget about me. He took his time growing these gentlemen so that he wasn't forgotten about, that they remember what dad did, that what he laid his hands to, because he was leading them into, and here's the thing about it, you don't even understand. We praying for greatness. Do you realize when we pray for greatness, when we are going for that dream that God has in our heart, that we are going against something greater than what we are? Mm. Okay. So this dream that God has in my heart, like I'm going to summon nations, it's so much more than me. It's impossible. Absolutely impossible without God himself showing up. And yet, I believe God spoke it to me. And because I believe, I speak. I am not fearful about it. I have no idea how he's going to do it, but it ain't going to be me. And that's what these boys had to come into um, realization of, that they were going against. Like, yes, God was bringing them into a land flowing with milk and honey, but they were coming in to drive out seven nations. What? What's it say? Mightier than they were. And God said, do not fear because you will not be the ones driving them out. I will go ahead of you driving them out. You couldn't do it on your own. Why? Could you? I only can do this. And some of us, we're praying for that greatness, right? We want that rise. And I want you to know that when it comes to pass, it is not you doing it. Because what you're asking God for, you are asking for greater things than you are capable of. You better be. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you, if you can do it yourself, you don't need God. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And God puts a God-sized dream in your heart.